Hey, what's up you guys? Today I'm going to be making a remake for my flight gear video I made about a year ago. So in this video I'm going to be going a little bit more in depth. I'm going to be telling you guys how to fix some issues you guys are getting. And I'm basically going to, in general, be going more in depth. I'll be showing you how to add aircrafts and all the rest. So the download links in the video description to download flight gear. And again, I explained this in my other video. It's a totally open source flight simulator. It's 100% free. It's cross-platform for all operating systems. And it is a really great flight simulator for beginners. I want to throw this out there, some people are saying it sucks, and it doesn't necessarily suck, it's just a free program, and you do get what you pay for, I guess you can say. This is free, so you're not going to be getting an amazing flight gear, or flight simulator, I should say, experience. Um, this is more for beginners, before you go and buy a flight simulator program, I would go with flight gear just to get more comfortable with the flight simulator experience, and then when you get your equipment, you'll be happy with flight simulating. Um, that's kind of what I'm doing now. So if you head over to Flight Gear's download page, um, flightgear.org slash downloads, you'll have a download page. You can download it for whatever operating system you're using. And right off the bat, some people are having issues with it crashing. I'm actually having this issue now. Flight Gear 2.0 does not work on my Mac as for now. Um, it works on my Mac, my MacBook Pro, but not on this iMac I'm using right now. Um, so it's, it's still really glitchy. I recommend using the 1.0, not 1.0, the version 1 of Flight Gear just because the 2.0 is still in beta series and it's still a little bit glitchy. Well, I shouldn't say a little bit, it's really glitchy. And really the only difference is they improve the graphics and they have a few more features that really don't matter that much. Um, so before I go to the downloads page, I'll just show you my specs. Um, I don't know the greatest specs. I have a 3.06 GHz Intel Core 2 Duo, um, 4 gigs of DDR3, um, 1067 megahertz RAM. And I have a NVIDIA 94M graphics card, so I don't know the best system out here, but it's it's plenty good for playing a flight simulator program. Now, if some people are having frame rate issues, um, there are graphics settings on it. You can adjust. Um, I'll show you that in a minute on your splash screen. You can adjust the graphics, so you can get a good frame rate. My my me myself, I get a pretty good frame rate um, on fairly high settings, because again, this isn't the most heavily graphic interpreted flight simulator program. So you don't need to go out and buy a gaming rig for this. This will work on any standard computer, assuming it's fairly new. It's not some old computer from 2006, basically what I'm saying, or older. <laughs> okay, so anyway, let's go to the download page. I'm going to be downloading this for um, Mac OS X, and it does require at least 10.4 Tiger. So if you're below that, I'm sorry, this will not work for you. And again, there's all these different OS's. They have Solars, um, FreeBSD, so it's pretty relative to, it's pretty good in the Linux community as well, for, as far as Linux goes. Um, so it takes me to the SourceForge.net website where I can download it. So you can see it has a whole list of different releases. Um, now this is the 2.0, and it is really glitchy. This is the one that crashes on me all the time, and I can't get it to work on my iMac. Um, so the one I would download is these ones down here. Um, get a stable version. Don't get make sure it's not too old, but really as long as it's um, make sure it's a stable build and it should be good as far as the crashing goes. Um, so that's how you get flight gear. Let's get into the game. Now I never like usual. I don't prepare my videos and I don't launch programs ahead of time. But this is the icon. It's pretty casual. Okay, so I added I added a custom aircraft here. So this is your splash screen. This is where you can customize a few things. So aircraft, I can choose, search for them. These are all the ones I've added in. It comes pre-installed with, I think, 12 aircrafts. Um, and then you have all your tabs down here of different um, options you can do. Um, you can position your aircraft. This is the airport. Um, customize that as well. I'm just going to go to the San Francisco one. This is the default one. And it doesn't have every airport in the world. Um, sometimes, if you notice, you go to a different airport and you're in the middle of the ocean. It looks, it's kind of confusing. It's kind of weird. But that's because you've never downloaded that area. You can go on Flight, Flight Gear's website and you can download different areas on the maps. You can download the whole world. But it will require some, some quite a lot of, I fail at grammar, quite a bit of disk space. So um, just watch out for that. Anyway, here's your um, settings, your performance settings. 3D clouds are really stressful on your card. My card cannot handle 3D clouds. It gets really choppy and glitches a lot. Um, 
so this is basically where you there's not really any um, adjustments as far as like a, a slider bar you can choose adjustments like that it's more of a checkbox type stuff so it's more minimal but there you go so let me choose a Cessna aircraft because I don't want to get too fancy and let's start a flight so I'm on dual display right now so um, I notice it's a little bit more glitchy on dual display for some reason um, these maps come up these maps are basically show you where you're positioned if you will show you in a minute how you can get the maps displayed I'm gonna just drag this over to my other monitor for a second here let me mute my volume because I'm sure you don't care about the sound effects so this is your cockpit view um, can't really see much outside but anyway you can view um, <clears throat> different views up here like I got the map just go through that there's me positioning positioned right there I'm the little red plane I don't know if you can see that very well anyway press the V key to toggle the views I like the back view for this plane at least um, press the B key to release your brakes I think they already are released and then um, bear with me here press the command press the page up key to increase your engine here um, there we go bam, 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 bam. There we go. I fail at steering right now. So just continue to press the page up key. And I'm failing at staying on the runway right now. Like the other video, you go off to the right. Um, you can just steer by using these keys right here. Try and get back on the runway. I know it should be. Ah. And I'll continue pressing the page up key. And I can press the down arrow key to raise my. Oh, I'm I'm really failing, guys. I'm really sorry about this. I'm really unprepared for this video. Um, I'm a very bad flyer right now. Really, really bad. I try and get this plane in control. So you can see the graphics aren't that bad. I mean, for a free flight simulator program, this is great graphics. I'm not complaining at all about this. Um, yeah, I'm climbing too high. I don't know why I'm failing at flying so much. So let me turn around a bit. Don't want to waste your time and take forever, but I'll turn around and show you the beautiful land. Shut up, buzzers. Let me just mute this. I don't care. Anyway, um, there's the land. There's the hills in the distance. You have pretty realistic um, everything. I'm going a little bit too sharp in the controls. I never played this forever. Sorry about that. <laughs> Um, so there you go. This is Flight Gear, um, a free open source flight simulator. Now the video is not over yet. I showed you the program. There you go. And all aircrafts have different controls. On um, this one, you use your arrow keys to control your joystick on the airplane. You press the page up key to adjust your throttle. And you press the the slash key and the, the period key or the two arrow brackets to steer your wheels on the ground. Um, so there you guys go. Relatively, they're acceptable graphics considering it's free. It's just to get you trained more in the flight simulator experience. Um, I don't know where my map is. If I could show you, there it is. There's the little red dot. Anyway, let's just quit out of this file, quit, and you can reset to take it back to the runway if you crash or anything. So that's pretty self-explanatory, the flying, just play around with the controls, they're fairly simple. So now I'm going to be showing you how to install aircrafts. Now, again, I'm a Mac user, so if you're using Windows or Linux, this is probably pretty similar. I never experimented this on Windows before. But just search it on Google. Do a Google search. There's probably another tutorial on how to do that on Windows or Linux. But I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it on the Mac platform today. So just head over to Flight Gear's website at flightgear.org. And just click on... Where is this again? Let me just Google Flight Gear. <clears throat> because it is on the link. So you just go into the aircraft's 
Okay, it's flightgear.org slash aircrafts dash 2.00. Okay, now you can just choose your aircraft. There are dozens and dozens and dozens, dozens and hundreds of them. Um, hmm. I like getting a jet type plane. This one looks pretty cool. Not that I can fly it or anything, but let's give it a whack. So I just choose your Miro to download it from. And Chrome will start downloading it. And while that's downloading, let me take you to the folder. So after it's downloaded, you want to go to your Applications folder. And you want to locate where the Flight Gear application is. Right click on the application, Show Package Contents. Go to Contents, Resources, and go to the Data folder. And go to the Aircraft folder. Now you don't have to go right anyway. You can just stay in this Data folder. Unzip the file. Now you have a folder here. All you need to do is drag the unzipped folder that's inside the zip file right to your aircraft folder. Now, if we go into our we'll relaunch flight gear. Now let me just what's that plane called? Okay. So let's go back in the flight gear. <clears throat> And now, if we choose our aircrafts, we'll have start searching for it. There it is. There's the aircraft we just added. So that's how you add aircrafts. It's the same technique for land, except you go to your map folder, I believe it was. I'm not too sure. But that's how you do it, guys. I hope I told you enough in this video. But again, if you're having problems, just look it up in forums, do a Google search, or drop me a line or a video response, and I'll be happy to help you out. So guys, thanks for watching, and make sure you check out my channel for more great tech tutorials. And until next time, I'll see you later. Peace out.